up, Layla? Welcome. We're going to be talking some raid today. And so today is going to be a Phantom Shogun team. And it's going to be Ninja, Mithrala, Kaimar, Gnarlhorn, and Coldheart. It's going to be courtesy of Bronze. I'm going to have some links down below. He does stream on Twitch. He has started a YouTube channel as well, too. So make sure you guys hit him up. So basically, the idea here is Gnarlhorn's really good for this. We have him with his unkillable and has a provoke, too. But Gnarlhorn in particular, and this is a nice little write-up that Bront gave for when he was doing this, so I'm just going to share it with you guys, is the idea is Gnarlhorn can't weak hit on this, and he also has the unkillable, so he needs to be able to take one hit in before the unkillable pops up. Okay. Gnarlhorn can be adjusted slightly for his speed. So what we're going to do is I am going to go through and basically kind of show you what we got. So you're going to see that Ninja, Ninja's in basically like, look at all that. He's in perception, right? And he does have kind of some specialty accessories here too. So he does have a revenge ring. He does have a reaction banner. And we're going to check out his stats for Shogun. You see he's at 53,000 HP, 5,200 attack, 3,100 defense, 263 speed. He's crit capped with 193 percent on the crit damage 209 resistance and his accuracy is going to be at 592 i'm going to assume he's fully booked he is and we actually happen to have brimstone on him for this so with ninja Bra was mentioning they figures needs to be at least 263 speed but as fast as 266 could also work because you want him before mithrala's cleanse kind of goes around too and the accuracy is going to be about 605 at stage 25 as well if you end up using another damage dealer, then you can match Cold Heart Speed instead. But we're kind of talking about Ninja right now too, right? So he ends up having this three-star blessing, which puts my 30% chance of a smite, which also does give him HP and attack here, okay? So that's going to be Ninja. And then for his masteries, I'll show you guys his masteries. So you're going to see offense and support, which you don't really see behind me, is that we have Methodical. We have Killstreak with his T6 going to be... War Master. All right. So next up, we have Mithrala. Now, for this, you're going to see... Actually, probably should have mentioned that Ninja happens to be a plus three. Mithrala happens to be a plus one. So for Mithrala, we are going to see that she's in four pieces of a bolster set. And she also does have some perception as well. And here's her stats. Something to point out with her is going to be her speed. But you're going to see that she has 64,000 HP, 2,600 attack, 3,400 on the defense, 280 speed. She has crit capped with 156% in the crit damage, resistance 203 and 553 on the accuracy. So with her thinking that she's be around 280 speed, of course, she could be a little bit faster, but needs to be slower than Kaimar. We're going to get to Kaimar in a minute. If she's too slow, she cleanses too early, and that's going to kind of mess up the rotation. Also, the accuracy is where you're going to see 553, so she can land the poisons. If you don't have Mithrala, Raiho is also really nice in this too. Okay. Now, let's see. I want to say she is fully booked. She is, and she also happens to have Brimstone for her blessing. This one happens to be a two-star. And then here are her masteries. So we have her offensive support as well, too, with Methodical, Killstreak, and War Master. Okay? All right. Next is Prince Kaimar. So Kaimar has to be the fastest, all right? You could also use Yumeko, but... We're also mentioning how you kind of want the reset in this. So for Kaimar, looks like he does have two sets of perception. He has some mixed pieces. So let's check out his stats for Phantom Shogun. Is we have him at 48,000 HP, 2,100 attack, 3,100 defense, 296 speed. Not really worried about the crit damage or the crit rate here. 168 resistance, 527 on the accuracy. And I want to say he's actually he's uh, he's not booked at all. Look at that. Not booked at all, but we do have his masteries as defense and support with accuracy on Eagle Eye being his T6. Okay. Next up is going to be Gnarlhorn. Now, with Gnarlhorn, his speed could be adjusted a little bit, but it looks like about 176 is right. 
And for him, he is in a regen set, and then he does have two mixed pieces as well. So let's check out his stats. We have him at 81,000 HP, 2,300 attack, 2,800 defense, 176 speed. Not really, you know, too worried about the crit da or crit rate there. We have 220 crit damage, 160 resistance, and we have the 106 on the accuracy. And is he booked? He is booked. And so for him, he has Phantom Touch, which has a chance of afflicting bonus damage. It's a four star. So we have a 30% chance of afflicting bonus damage plus HP, attack, defense, and crit damage as well too. And for his masteries, we have him down the offense and the support as well. Behind me, you're going to see that we have Methodical with his T6 also going to be War Master. <laughs> And the last one in this group is going to be Coldheart. So Coldheart's speed needs to be about 270, but she can be a little bit faster as long as she's still slower than your Mithrala, okay? Don't really have to worry too much about accuracy on her, but you want your damage. So with her, we do have some perception and some mixed pieces. And let's look at Phantom Shogun. So we have 46,000 HP, 3,400 attack, 2,300 on the defense, 277 speed. We don't have full crit damage, and that's or for cool rate. That's fine. We have eight one eighty three percent of the crit damage, one forty eight resistance, and the three eighty six on the accuracy. So for her, we, you know, we do want her booked, and she also has the Phantom Touch at a two star, which is fifty percent chance of bonus damage with HP and attack. And they here are her masteries. So again, offensive support being methodical, and War Master being her T six. Okay, so this team is going to be doing Phantom Shogun 25, tends to be about like a minute or less, depending again on some RNG. So let's go run Phantom Shogun. All right, guys, here we are. We're in Phantom Shogun 25. So you're going to see this is how we're stacked up as we do have Mithrala in lead for the accuracy in battles by 80, as well as the rest of our team. So this run should be a sub minute run on Phantom Shogun. Oh, let's do times two. So the times one. Like 45 to 60 seconds. <laughs> nice. So about 20 seconds in, we're about halfway. Thirty seconds in. All those poisons. Look at all those poisons. All right, forty seven seconds. So it'll be slightly over a minute. Not bad. There it is. A minute and eight. Just a slightly. With the best time being 42 seconds. Yeah, we'll grab some more gems. So what we're going to do is we do have a preset for this too. So I'm going to show you guys the preset on Shogun 25. So Mithrala, we'll start with her Libation of Pain, which is two times at random with a poison into her Briming Silex, which she removes all debuffs from allies as a strengthen and a shield. And we're going to show off her Sigil of Toxic Glory, which could be the AoE Hex. Ninja, we're going to have him do his Hail Burn, which is three times at random, does HP Burn, also has the Perfect Veil. Cold Heart, we want to prioritize her Heart Seeker. We're shutting off the Art of Pain, which is going to be the AoE Decrease Accuracy. Kaimar, we're going to shut off his Abyssal Gaze, which removes buffs and does a Sleep. And we're going to start off with his Phantom Fire, which is going to be the AoE Poison debuff. And then Gnarlhorn. So we're prioritizing his Determined, which is the unkill buff into his War Drum, which is going to be the Provoke and the Increase Defense, okay? So also, kind of like what matters, we'll run it one more time here too, is there's going to be a couple things, is RNG obviously can affect it as well too. Like you had seen the best time there was like, what, 45, 48 seconds or something like that. So we'll run that again, you guys having seen the presets as well too. All 
All right. So again, yeah, 20 seconds. We're like halfway down. So as usual, a lot of it is going to be some RNG. And yeah, the provoke is to help with the timing for when the boss resets is what we're looking at. Like right there. All right. 35 seconds. We're at 53. So we're a little slightly faster this time. So again, just a little bit of the RNG. But guys, I'd love to know, you know, what kind of teams are you running? If you're running Phantom Shogun, that was slightly a little bit faster this time. We're going to see Ninja at two and a half mil with Cold Heart at one mil. Broad, thank you so much for the showcase, guys. We're going to have some links down below. Please make sure you go subscribe to him. Go like his stuff. And thanks for watching.